What you finna hit me with now? I'm just, Let's go. I'm just saying, you looking sad. I am sad. My home, like, I'm, I'm, I'm sad, not gonna even I'm, say I'm, my homie. I'm sad. I'm but sad too. The fact that Laquan and so McDonald is. Let's, let's let the viewers know that the way this will go is that the last segment of each episode will be Chicago shit. Chicago based. The we, will, and only Chicago. we will go over things that affect our home city, what we need to do better. What's currently going on? What's currently going on. It could be positive. It could be negative. Unfortunately, today, January 18th, 18th something extremely negative happened in the city of Chicago. A police officer, Jason Van Dyke, was sentenced on murder charges. And when you say sentenced on murder, murder charges, first thing you'll think of is, oh, shit, he got life. He got 45 years or, you know, he was charged with multiple bullets and a gun and all those things. But no, he was sentenced to 81 months, which is equivalent to roughly six and a half years. Um, what I didn't know and what I just found out recently is Including that... Including the years he's since he's, he's been Well, he, he, he bonded out after two months. So time yeah. considered to serve two months. But what I just found out and what I didn't know is apparently with probationable charges, it carries 50% time. So I thought anything that was violent was 80%, but he qualifies for 50%, which means... Off that fifty percent, he does three years. He got two two months of time considered serve with good time. After years, he could be out in about two to two and a half years. So we have a police officer, right? Mm -hmm. Caucasian, mm -hmm. white. I didn't say Caucasian. white. White. Small On white. camera. I saw the video. The video is pretty. I saw the video. Vi video, video is pretty fucked up. You have an individual walking. Oh, he's one one thing that's a fact in any situation. He's brandishing a weapon. However, he's walking away from squad cars. He's not in the immediate danger of any police officer. And because I think this is what makes the video more fucked up is that it was cold outside. So the fact that it was kind of cold outside. The weather? Listen, the fact that it was cold outside, you can see the impact of the bullets because of the heat from the gun. So as he gets shot, you see him get hit. You see the heat of the bullet hit him. You see a puff of smoke. He drops. And then you constantly see puffs of smoke, which means as he dropped, Every time you seen a puff of smoke, you also seen his body. You saw a bullet flip from the impact of the body, shot right? while he was yeah. still on the ground. Um, In any other situation, that's murder. Get that motherfucker life, death penalty. If Illinois carried it, is it I don't know, but whatever the case may be. Unfortunately, today that individual got off. Do you believe in Chicago? Black lives don't matter. Well, I believe that's in far more places than Chicago. I mean, we're speaking of Chicago. But I do think Chicago. this. I do think this about this Chicago. Because this is a statement. I do think this about Chicago. Regarding the fact that this is Chicago shit. The violence and the reputation Chicago has puts a more stressful decision-making process on the judicial system when it comes to IU. And the reason why I say that is because if you, even if you black and you get shot in LA, probably not Compton, but somewhere else other than LA, or you get shot in uh, uh, another city that's bad, but it's not Chicago. Mm -hmm. I don't think who you are as a young black male is more of a problem than being in Chicago. Mm. And either way, the cop still gets off. Mm. But I feel like only in Chicago, he gets six years because of who you thought that kid was. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And how many cities can you count a 15 year old holding a weapon telling the cops, what's up? 
sweetheart. Uh, so, so, so. Trayvon was only holding some skittles. No, no. It, listen. And it didn't take much. And he wasn't even a cop. For them to, and he wasn't even and a he, cop. And he wasn't even white. But he made that executive decision to want to feel like he was a cop. But to take somebody like I feel like. And he still got off. I feel like. He still got off. I feel like. The outcome is a direct reflection on where you are. Yeah. That in a lot of other cities in America, that cop would have got more than six years. I feel like because he's in Chicago and the 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 understanding or the thought of youth in Chicago is that they dangerous, they bad, they reckless, they more dangerous than the average youth in another city. And this is exactly I feel like how that's why he got so fine. Because he was a child of the system, a foster care. Because I definitely felt like he would get more time. Mm -hmm. But I'm not surprised he didn't. Mm -hmm. Definitely felt like he would. Mm -hmm. Based off when he got convicted, all the news that surrounded it. It's almost like they said, oh yeah, we're going to make him guilty. Yeah, that motherfucker guilty. Calm yourself down. Yeah, like, 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 yeah, don't, 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 don't get too happy, motherfuckers. We ain't gonna so easily impress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't get happy, motherfuckers. Yeah. Motherfuckers, because it, it still, it. it still ain't gonna go your way. Mm-hmm. It still ain't gonna go your way. We mm-hmm. only giving him eighty one months. Mm-hmm. The fact that they even listed it as mm-hmm. eighty one months was disrespect. Because I've never seen. A city crime be listed as 81 months. Only federal crimes tell you in months. So I felt like they was just trying to like, I maybe I'm thinking too hard, but they was trying to make it seem better than what it was. Oh, he got 81 months. Do the math. Bitch, that's six years in jail. And then based off what I just learned, he qualifies for 50%. To put that into perspective, somebody who's convicted of manslaughter would have got a worse a worse sentence. To put that to he was convicted of murder. Alright. So what's your manslaughter? Well, he probably would have got ten at fifty percent, which is the guaranteed five years. What's your take on that? Oh oof. Um First of all, she ain't coming with that same energy. I am coming. She with ain't that coming with that same energy. <laughs> I am. You know, it kind of got to get worked up because it's it's a constant frustrating conversation that we keep having as far as black people in our homes with our with our with our families with our loved ones is this police interaction. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. The biggest thing right now is this conversation with police interaction in our black community. Can we handle it? Do we know what to do? Do we know what not to do? A lot of us don't probably know what to do. In some cases, like Laquan McDonald, he was this child in foster care, had a wild night off of a couple of pills, and the police got the fucking with him. He was also breaking into cars though that night too, which is why they were even on his tail, Mm -hmm. was because he was breaking into cars and stealing things out of a truck yard. Point though, is for someone to blatantly shoot some shoot a child. Murder. Murder a child. That's murder. Shoot them 16 times. When you know one shot as a police officer to a child. First of all, you shooting a child. That shouldn't even be the case. Why aren't we having tasers? Right. Ain't second no, of ain't all, no white kid getting shot in second of all, ain't no house. white kids on the news getting shot up 16 times. And these are the kids that are coming to school and shooting up their teachers and, and get, their classmates and getting arrested and getting arrested and but they got the mental game. health issues though one of them got took the burger game but they got mental health issues though so it's okay for them to do some mass killing and it's okay for them to do all this crazy shit but here this child was going away from police going a way in the opposite direction and he still gets his life taken no black lives do not matter in Chicago can I ask one quick question whatsoever is the problem with police officers racism or prejudice? Is it oh, racism or prejudice? Well, I feel like racism was. B-O-F-F. I feel like the police. I feel like the police are. <laughs> you said B O F F. B O F F. Both. She sound like Floyd to me. Yeah. I feel like the police <laughs> are, are. The police are 
<laughs> were initiated, the whole structure of the police was kind of like branded off of racism to begin with. Okay, it was. Um, I get it. As far as prejudice, prejudice is something different from racism. Everybody has. I don't. I didn't say everybody, but I feel like most people have prejudice, um, and that's a thing that we 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 can kind of operate with to move with in the world. Racism is a different thing because it actually oppresses people. Prejudice is more so. I feel, I don't like these people. I don't like that people. Racism is more so a thing that is actually affecting and and and, and orchestrating that person's life. And you know what I'm saying? That, that's a whole different type of thing. But, but one one more part on that. The reason why I asked that question is because this is from my experience. Right. I've experienced some of my worst situations with a black police officer mm-hmm. instead of a white police officer. Okay, I've heard this before. And the reason being is because. At the end of the day, that's a police officer, and you a black motherfucker walking the street. Right. But this is the thing: it's, if it's a racist system, the police don't have to be. It could he could be black. It don't matter. So the you system said, is. Racist. You saying it was built off? It was, it was, it was yeah. built off yeah. racism. Yeah. I give you a perfect. He, that okay, was I, licensed to kill okay. black people. Yeah, I get be it. a police officer. I give okay. you a perfect example. I'm a black. I'm a black teacher. I got the best hopes for my students. I work in a system that doesn't benefit black students. If I At teach all. inside of that system, if I don't bend, bend some shit, break some rules, then I'm going to teach in a way that doesn't benefit the kids that I want to benefit because okay, the system that. is not made that I way. I get that. So I it don't matter. That. You can put an so Asian the, the, the system is racist no matter who's on it. They are the executioners to that system. And then Belichick can put any motherfucker at quarterback, they're going to be successful. Yeah, it's not Brady in the goal. That's another story. But <laughs> 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 this, this is my take on the shit. And my take on it is like, unfortunately, I'm not shocked. I'm not, I don't really, it didn't really trigger any emotion for me at all, even though it happened in Chicago. It could be fucked up. It didn't trigger much emotion for me, even though I'm, I'm, I'm living in Chicago. I'm somebody who that could happen to. My son is somebody who that could happen to one day. But the reason why it doesn't trigger much emotion uh, in me is because I'm not surprised because it happens so much. And I feel like, um, I personally feel like we have to start moving towards not being shocked like white people got their foot on their neck and they not taking it off let's not let's stop being shocked by it and stop focusing on problems and focus more on solutions okay yeah they killed another one of ours it's not gonna stop how are we gonna fix it let's yeah. not let's stop being shocked and constantly yeah. talking about the fact that it happened and talk do? about how are we gonna stop it and so, i feel like until we get to that point nothing in that situation is going to change another thing i feel like because i know it's going to be White people watching this, black people watching this, and there's so many people, white or black, who feel like, okay, y'all, there were fucking riot when a white cop killed a kid, but y'all out here killing kids every day. And this is what I want to say to f- for those people. People who, black people who in the hood, who do shit illegally, whether it be kill somebody, whether it be shoot at somebody, whatever those things, they're not hired to protect and serve Chicago. Mm. A gangbanger. For a reason. A gangbanger is not entrusted with the safety of citizens. Police officers are. So you, we not comparing criminals to fucking police officers. That's well, just I'm like, obligated higher, to higher protect authority. and serve. That, that's higher just authority. like that's just like if I'm teaching my class and a principal walk in and I'm cussing out the class and a principal say, "Oh, why are you cussing at the kids?" And I say, "Well, the kid is cursing. Why can't I curse?" Uh, the, black, the, the gang bang is killing people. Why can't the police do it? No, it's not. It's not the same responsibility. Mm. So at the end of the day, we're not holding officers and criminals to the same standard. You know what I'm saying? So, it, like, I hear that a lot. I hear that it, a lot. it comes down to solutions and not. Pro- we have to be solution based and not being pro- and stop being problem based and stop with the outrage and really and really pick and choose our spots for when we want to be effective in the way that we want to go about. Affecting the difference between a lot of these black and black killings and these police shootings is that it's poverty stricken. That's why there's so much black and black crime that's going on right now. It's yeah. in, in, in the midst of these police shootings. They overlook in the hood killings because we're doing this all the time. Well, yeah, we're going to keep doing it because y'all keep taking our grocery stores. Y'all have shut down our schools. A lot of schools in Chicago were of predominantly black neighborhoods that were shut down. 
So guess what? A lot of these kids gotta go into rival gang neighborhoods now in yeah. order to get to class, in thing. order to get yeah. back home. That's a so real it's thing. a lot of shit going on, despite of just the police officers so, also killing everybody. It's it's a it's an economical fracture that's yeah. also fucking everything up, and it's 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 making society choose who's a good guy and who's a bad guy. He's a good guy, a police officer who just got a little angry on the job, but he's a police officer. He's a good guy. But here you got a teenager who's been poverty stricken, who has had nothing to ever call his own, he, who has had to take everything who ha he has ever owned because he has the, nothing, the who has had no kill. structure, no home structure, yeah. no discipline, no nothing. And he should get violence. far more worse of a punishment. Right. Far more worse of a punishment than somebody who had that opportunity, who was built in some structure. When you are a part of the police academy, that's structure. That is structure. That is privilege. So, and a lot of black people do not have that opportunity. These kids don't have that opportunity. So, one of my biggest problems with all these killings of young black males or whatever the case may be. It really is just young black males. At some point, though, we did have a lot of young black girls missing. It's always a problem. Or it's always an individual that couldn't even begin to understand the person that they just killed, mm -hmm. right? Right. Mm -hmm. For instance, you got this man, Jason Van Dyke. I don't know where he grew up. I don't know how he grew up. I don't know whatever the case may be. I guarantee you if a cop from that area or a cop that grew up kind of rough around the edges or whatever the case may be. We have a friend who is currently a police officer. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. seen some shit. He's grown up in a hood. He's been a part of it. Him in that same situation would have never pulled that trigger. Because he would have been able to look at that boy and he would have been able to say, he tweaking. He off some pills or whatever the case may be. He's walking away from us. Yeah, he got a knife, but we don't have to kill this kid. We, don't, we can disarm him Take his ass to jail, whatever the case may be. You putting people who don't know shit about the environment that they in, don't know shit about the individuals, and all they have to go off of is a booklet and a fucking video of training that they do before they go out there. So they don't even care to know the mindset of the people that they supposed to protect us are. One of the most dangerous people in the world is somebody who's scared. What a gun. Hold on. One of the most dangerous people is somebody in the world who's scared. Add factors to that. They have a gun that they can use legally. They have authority. Right? And they put in a position of power. So you have a person who fears how can I how can I protect and serve you if I fear you? Mm. How can I protect and serve you if no, I don't no, even sir. know how to no, relate to you? Me. I don't yeah. know how to. I don't know how to talk to you. I don't know any of that. That's the lack of so if I see transparency. You, they put these people into communities they know nothing about. How we know Jason Van Dyke has never been in a fight? He's never been in an argument a day in his life. He's never been put in a situation of stress and violence. And he sees a teenage African American boy with a knife. And his first fucking response is to pull the trigger until I no longer feel threatened. Mm -hmm. Is that the right motherfucker to have protected something? At, at what point after the first shot do you no what, longer feel threatened? What what is the sixteenth time? Huh? What is he laying down on kinds of what is what is the training? You got your whole team of police. Not even that. What, 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 what is but the training? What, what is the training, right? All cops go to the police academy. All cops get general training. And it's all right? dummies. <laughs> Stunt dummies. Yeah. I hope These are lifeless bodies when they, they get this training. There's no more there's no real morale training though. No, I get that, but that's why there I say There's no real situation. That's why I say They're dummies and videos. If I grew up in Orange County, and I be become a police officer, I need to fucking patrol Orange County. Because I ain't got no business being in Compton. 
Yeah, you need to be in my <laughs> if, if I grow up in Orange County, I need to be somewhere while I understand the motherfuckers of Orange County. Because if I see a group of kids acting wild, first thing going to come to my mind, you just came from a Beverly Hills motherfucking house party. And you you have off ecstasy and liquor, and I'm not gonna shoot and kill you. But if I see that same group of kids mm -hmm. in Compton, mm -hmm. I don't know shit about y'all. Mm -hmm. Y'all out there, y'all acting rowdy. I don't know what y'all did. I what I saw on TV. All I know is video. I saw a motherfucker in Compton get his ass stumped out and murdered. So I instantly pull my gun and tell a bunch of sixteen year olds to get on the ground. And the first time y'all make a wrong motherfucking move, I'm shooting. Why the fuck do we have police officers that don't have shit? This this is this is different from the Van Dyke situation, right? Okay. But have have one of the one of the very first cases of how a lot of this shit happened. Uh, Brown from East from St. Louis. Uh-huh. Mike Brown, yeah. Mike Brown from St. Louis. Yeah. That fucking cop didn't even grow up in St. Louis. He grew up in a, another motherfucking suburb in Missouri. Mm -hmm. What the fuck are you doing in East St. Louis? Monitoring Ferguson. in Ferguson. What 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 the hell are you doing in Ferguson, St. Louis, monitoring these kids? Mm -hmm. You probably grew up, grew up you, never seeing a black kid. I can tell you because guess where these police academies are pulling from? They not pulling from Inglewood. They not pulling from the low end. They pulling from they general. Pulling, they are pulling from neighborhoods and communities that they know well-rounded people that they call well-rounded people come from because everybody from our neighborhood in jail. Already got a felony and can't be a police officer. But they already can't stand a police officer. And already can't stand a police officer. They're not going to pull from our own community for our community we, to we, take and serve but, us. But we, we know one. And that's shout, fucked shout, up. Shout, shout, shout out but to That's home. what we need. Shout we out do to know him. one. We, we shout do know one. And he's doing the very best he can. And I've had conversations with him. And he's told me mentally he struggled. Mentally and emotionally, he struggled with making a police choice and making a choice that he knows is more so hood and yeah. that, 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 that. And that's what they don't want. Women. It's but, fucked but, up, but, but we need more people like that because it will challenge the mindset that no, this isn't a situation to shoot to kill. This is that situation to, where arrest. I, I, know, I, I can arrest, arrest him or I can take I him home. I can just take him home and talk to this person. I know, his yeah, I know for a fact. Home. I know, I know for a That's fact. protecting this earth. I know for a fact that he's been in a situation where he had a split second decision to pull his gun and shoot somebody. I know. And all he did. I know of the situation. All he did was look. He opened the door. The person was moving funny. But he didn't act out of fear. He didn't act out of unknowing. He took a, a he took a good look at what the situation was, and he made the right decision. And he could have because it's no fear. Somebody. Because it's not as much of a unknown in the fear in that yeah. situation as it was as Jason Van Dyke. Yeah. The same other, but he saw he saw a ear a weird movement. Answering to a domestic situation, he answering to a violent situation. Opens the door, he sees a weird movement. What the fuck you doing? Move, move. What you doing? Right. Looks at the situation. It ain't a violent situation. Get your ass on the ground. Let me see what's going on. A cop who's never seen that, never experienced nothing like that. His first reaction: You make that weird movement. That would have been I'm a motherfucking murder. So that would have been a body. They say when emotion is high, logic is low. So you you acting out of fear, you ain't you not you not playing the situation out the right way at all. So especially in cities like Chicago, where the violence is not of an average scale and not of an average individual. We can all agree violence in Chicago with the youth start at a very young age. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Kids a lot of it comes kid, from the kid, Kids at 10, hey, right kids at 10 and 11 yeah. learning that they need to carry a, a deuce deuce outside to feel 100% safe. So when your, when, your, when your understanding of violence happens at a very young age, you need people that understand what's going on with you and where that violence comes from to monitor your neighborhoods. You don't need this motherfucker that's never seen this shit. Never seen this shit to do it. 
Because all he know is what he's seen and what somebody has told him. Watch out for this area. These little black motherfuckers, they bad. Uh, be on your point. Don't get caught slipping. Don't do this and that. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, Jason Van Dyke was scared as fuck when he seen that little boy. He was scared as hell. This motherfucker got a knife. Yeah, because he had literally just pulled up this the mother, same, This, the this motherfucker thing. got a knife. We in the hood. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm nervous. You can't have those emotions and those reactions and be a fucking police officer, G. Yeah. They you can't do say, that. They did say know, that initially that. Jason Van Dyke was not one of the officers pursuing with Paul McDonald. He was not. No, it, 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 that's what he I'm saying. Came it, was, to the scene. it was off nervousness. It was off. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm not even giving him that. I'm not giving him that. You're saying it's just off pure. I, I feel like he, that's what he was on. That's what he wanted to because do. Because the reason why I'm not giving him that is because a knife at a distance isn't a threat. And you got it. What the fuck is he? I get what you're saying. I get what you're but saying. But police officers, which said, you also have loaded You said, said, But you're trying to unload your So, I got, you got a knife, I can shoot you on your leg. I'm a trained officer. So, I can shoot you on your leg. That's another argument. I can tackle you. Listen, that's a knife. Look, that's a knife. That's another argument. Tase you. I ain't tackling. I ain't talking about I'm just saying, like, yeah, I get you. that I, physical. Shout out to Super They still got to do physical, <laughs> physical assessments, too. He, 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 he could have took, took Shorty down. Can you understand this big ass get, German Shepherd? But, 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 but you down. I get what he's saying, though. He's saying the flip side of that, not that you're scared or you're nervous. Let's just say you never grew up around this and you just got pure hatred and you want action. Right. Mm-hmm. You don't know how to control yourself. You this cop with authority. I got a gun. I want action. You you ain't even one of the cops pursuing. You you're going the opposite way. You hear that shit on the radio. We got a, a, a African American team uh, with a, a a weapon brandishing a weapon walking southbound on so and so. You you flip that. You you turn that bitch. You flip that car around. You do eighty miles to the scene. Gun already out. His holster. You hop out. You where it's at? Where he at? What's up? I want some action. You see that knife, boom, you react. Just, just on how, Even how then, it. he didn't grow up in any environment like this, so he didn't know he how like to it was a sport. So we, we talking about fear, we talking about um we talking about hatred. The authority part of it is a big thing too, because you never know what goes on in a person in a person's personal life that affects their decision. For example, when I was a teenager I worked at McDonald's. Every customer has authority at McDonald's. Meaning that if you had a bad day, you could go cursing. Per- That's one place you could go to get your revenge. <laughs> you could curse this motherfucking teenager that's going to fuck out and ain't shit going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, if you, you own a business, I had a bad day. Woo, woo, this motherfucker been getting on my nerves at work. Woo, I probably would have did this in a regular situation. But now I'm on bullshit because I can be. Mm. So imagine a cop who I got problems at home. Somebody, just, a black dude just fucked my wife. Mm. Did, tired of y'all niggas. Did, did you have I, to, I was did at you, Walmart. Did you, did, you to, did you have to go that far? I was at Walmart. I was at Walmart. I was at Walmart and a black cat shit started tweaking with me. I'm tired of these niggas. I was I was I was at the movies and a black motherfucker cut in front of me in line. I'm tired of these niggas. I got a, I got a hatred, but I got authority too. So now like, the oh, second oh, I get that call, like, oh, we got a black movie. I'm over here. Yeah, now because I got authority. I can get. I can take my aggression. You got authority. You can take your aggressions out in different ways. That's because you got so authority. It's, it's another. So, it's another level. I don't have an answer for a solution. Right. I don't we, have a, I, there is no solution. Yeah, right I, don't, now. I don't have I think, a solution. I think collectively. <laughs> I don't. Have, I, I don't have it. There, I feel like there are solutions. Yeah, I don't have an answer for it. But I will say this. I will ask this question because people gonna march on Lakeshore Drive. They gonna shut down the expressways. They gonna do shut down. They gonna do, they, they gonna they gonna they gonna do the usual, mm-hmm. which I'm not. I'm not saying it's not effective, but it has that action hasn't shown much improvement. Mm-hmm. It's not effective. I'm gonna say I, I won't say that. I won't say it because I won't. I won't shut down anybody's passion or belief. And if they passionate about that's the way that they show they importance or that that's the way they show their affection about the situation, I won't shut that down. 
I will say this though, outside of that, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, all that shit we just talked about, getting police officers from the same neighborhood, getting police officers that understand the situation, getting police officers that don't have hatred in their heart for a certain race or whatever the case may be. Obviously, they ignoring it because I'm pretty sure we're not the first people to say that we've been people have been saying that for a while. Mm -hmm. As the people of Chicago, where do we go from here? We need a new CPD reform. What do we? No, 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 no. As the people, not as, as the, not, not Chicago, because that's a Chicago that's city, city of Chicago. As the as the, the citizens, people. as the black people, as of the Chicago. citizen, black citizens of Chicago. After hearing this about Jason Van Dyke, it's mm -hmm. it's heartbreaking. It hits home to some people. It's something that you can't even fathom just fucking happen. You can't even wrap your mind around the fact that this Honestly, just Honestly, it's the, it's, the, it's the whole, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like it's just the whole, it takes a village concept. That's kind of where it starts. I feel like at least that's where it can start. So we are at that age where, I mean, we are at this, at this place in society where I dare you say something to my child. I will smack the shit out of you. You say something right, to my child, right, right. even if my child is wrong. I will right. smack the shit out of you. You say yeah. something to my child. Where back then, if Miss Rose from down the street saw you fucking up, she's gonna fuck you up, and then bring you to your mama so your mama can fuck you up. That, that's true. You know, I feel I, like I, it I starts. It starts. It starts with some type of accountability within our own community. No, I don't mean tricks, but there has to be some accountability when shit is wrong. Yeah. When shit is wrong. Yeah, yeah. So when uh, shit is wrong, y'all. And that's what so, we let too much shit slide and we oh. expect these police officers to come in and do the job, but we're not doing the job ourselves. We want these motherfuckers to do right by us, we need to do right by each other. So I th this is the it takes a village concept yeah. gonna work? Ultimately, probably not. No. But I feel like at some point, be that mindset worked back then. It'd it had me to respect my elders and be careful what okay. I'm doing and who I'm doing it around. So, to answer your question, um, where do we go from here? I say we got to affect um, the pockets of the people in control. Mm -hmm. So Ultimately. My question to those people would be, do you hate black or do you love green? So when Freddie Gray had his situation in Baltimore, they had these riots right mm -hmm. they had all this shit going on mm -hmm. they they had a boycott in front of the Baltimore Orioles stadium right mm -hmm. who owns the Baltimore Orioles and whatever team they're playing against not millionaires billionaires mm -hmm. billionaires tell people what to do a judge makes I don't know how much money but a billionaire is telling him what to do <laughs> exactly I, I don't care if the billionaires in politics or not a billionaire he and got away and say what the fuck is shit. going on. They did that boycott in front of the Baltimore Orioles. The next day, those officers were indicted. The next day. That's a fact. Mm. So I feel like the the solution is the same solution to every white problem. Pick the pocket. They money. They money. <laughs> like, they money. At the they end of the day, money. and I don't know, like, what is a million ways to do it. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a suggestion on top of the head of how to do it. But I know that the marching, the praying, the, the cutting off express, the expressway making me an hour late, that shit don't affect them people no. at all. It don't affect those people who were the heads of the yeah, people that and, and, the and situation. Yeah, the, the, even though the riot and tearing up our own shit, shit don't like hit their pockets. So by the time this is edited, this Unless you do a, a great job. A topic like and this it, is going to be two to three it, and episodes. Get, and get it done ASAP. Tomorrow. So, <laughs> by the time this is edited oh, and shit. put out, it may be already one day. But, he just had a, a great answer to it. The solution to it is not act out. Right? The solution to it is not act out, not act well. The solution to it is to strategically yeah. affect the people who could have affected this situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Meaning, if we would have had Chicago senators and politicians, even like 
attached to this situation, mm-hmm. the situation could have been consistently, different. consistently attached. attached. The situation could have been because different, right? everyone's consistency because fell off. With they time. might they might become attached now and speak on it now. Yep. That the sentence the has already been given. But consistently, but if we would, if we, there's nothing we could do about the current situation. Correct. Jason Van Dyke got his time. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. No. Unfortunately, this is going to happen again. Yeah. This is Chicago. I'm not... I'm not the I'm, fact that we... The fact that we know that to, is fuck that. The fact that we Let's, know that and have to accept that. This is... This is, this is that hurts. This that is, sucks. This is going to happen again. There's no hope for this city. That's how I feel sometimes. Don't say that. That's fucked up. But what are we doing? What's... what's I don't know. Go work. Go to work in the There's morning. There's no hope just, yet. And just pray. That's why everyone leaves. It's so sad. But we love Chicago. It's just we have but a very this, time. This, this will this will happen again. And we just, just know better. that we didn't hold the right people accountable or or put put the pressure on the right, right people, people this time. If this power. happens again, you know who you you know who you speak to. You speak to the police chief. You speak to the person running for mayor. mayor. Right. You speak to the person running for governor of Illinois. You immediately affect the people that have something to well, lose we by making wrong it the that. wrong decision, the negative decision. Yeah. And that's how you get something done. Yeah. That may be to the extreme. That may be an extreme caution. But like you just said, something happened the very next fucking day. Yeah. Right, so they canceled that baseball game. The billionaires lost their money. It's like, hey, them motherfuckers got to get indicted. <laughs> so they have to. I'm missing out on money. Them motherfuckers <laughs> got it. Them, <laughs> them police officers ain't bigger than my money. Them mm. motherfuckers got to get indicted. Mm. Do you I love mean. green more than you hate black? That's that's, that's, that's a, I think that's a, that's, well, a a, Chicago, that's a big Chicago that's a big Chicago question. Yeah, Chicago. Because a lot of this has been Chicago politics uh, over people. Chicago is corrupt as fuck. So but corrupt. Anyway, this was this was nice. Our first episode. Very intense. Now we got we drug out a couple of topics. Yeah, this I found my cold. My homies, they some savages. They some savages. When it comes to the dating scene, we're some uh, nice we're not, men. We're not savages. He's in a he's in a long term um, relationship. They do everything together. But the honest of a savage, we go to uh, onesie bar crawl. See him. Goals, cute shit. Goals, goals, bro. I'm, I'm, talking, I'm, I'm just he the hoe. I'm single, respectful, Slash all that Mary. shit. You know what I'm saying? Slash Chill out on all that shit. You know? <laughs> but, uh, First episode. Good chemistry. Great chemistry. Long as hell. Uh, right. Hopefully, you sit through all of this. But as you can see, we have great topics. We uncensored. Don't bash us for some of the comments that we made. We can say what you want to say. At the end of the day, my opinion. What I tell I y'all, said a wise man know one thing, and that's that he don't know shit. So anything I say, did y'all look at quotes on Google or some shit before y'all came? Because you didn't say it about two of them. You didn't say it about three of them. I love no. I just got my shit right. You never hear me say facts. I don't believe in facts. Everything is an opinion. So or the truth. You know, it sounds like something the whole said. The 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 truth is, you know, (laughs) the truth is objective. The truth is objective. (laughs) It's all about the opinions. That's all we got. Yeah, that's all we got. I don't know. I don't know shit. I just I'll tell you how I feel. That's it. Thanks for rocking with us. I kind of don't want to sit right here no more. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's super important. We need you know, but, but but he point at the camera and he be. Let me not point too. Like y'all feel this. I know y'all feel this energy. It's a wrap.